So autopsy is the process whereby following um, death, you investigate and examine the body both on a sort of visual scale, macroscopic scale, as well as microscopic scale. This book would normally take maybe over a year to fill, and um, we're nearly through it, and this, this one's only a couple months old. Do you know the code outside? Is it 1397? I just want to show it to Michelle. Hist historically, thinking about pandemics, um, influenza, SARS-CoV-1, um, any pandemic, really, autopsy always has played a role in learning about the disease process. And I think when f coronavirus was first starting to be described, at least COVID-19, not coronavirus in general, we, we knew that it affected the lungs. Obviously, patients came in with respiratory illness. But it was only really through autopsy that we started to see the spectrum of disease manifestations that the coronavirus can cause, COVID-19 can cause. When we started to do the autopsies of the COVID-19 patients, one of the main findings that we, we found was that there was clotting in various organs throughout the body, the, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys. And that was really under-recognized clinically as a source of, as sort of a, a process within the disease. In many of my cases of the patients that died in the ICU, they had very advanced scarring in their lungs that I wouldn't expect to see in someone who comes in with, let's say, influenza. And I think that we will learn that the damage that coronavirus does is, is quite dramatic. No, I think it's a self-selecting field. I don't think it's for everyone. You know, I really, as a pathologist, I'd like to recruit people who um, are, are ready for what it means to be a pathologist, um, which is, is, you know, sort of a meticulous and um, structured, you know, look at the, at the medical world. Normally a lung would have like holes like a sponge and this tissue is so damaged by the virus that it's just completely consolidated and dense. Um, this one doesn't have any clots. Is that like the, the, the manual aspect of autopsy is, is, is very challenging and you know we, we don't leave any stone unturned so it's not a it's not as sterile, let's say, as, as what's shown on television. Um, and I think on television, they also miss one of the larger parts of the autopsy, which is the microscopic examination of tissues. I think that the attention that it's getting is, is good because it is a service that's provided to the public and to the families. With, with air. We and should see a lot more white. We should see a lot more white. No white. That's why you get a lot of patients free.